Morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this very thankful Thursday. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for our, our Heavenly Father. I'm thankful for the blessings that God pours out on us every day. Now, you may notice this is, looks a whole lot like yesterday. I'm pre-recording this. I'll be in a seminar all day from 7 to 4. Uh, man, I'm telling you, it's not going to be fun, but it'll be very interesting. Uh, but if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Romans chapter 6. And have you noticed that Paul is being very repetitive in, in this letter? Over and over again, he seems to be saying the same thing, same thing, same thing. And the reason is he's trying to drive a point home. It's like hammering a nail, you know? Some guys, can they can take a hammer and a nail and with, with one swing, they, they drive that thing all the way through. Now, for me, I, I just have to tap, 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 tap to, till I get it down there. Paul is tap, tap, tapping because he wants to drive this message home to all of us so that we will understand how important this truth is. Now, listen to what he says. And, and we're picking up in Romans 6, verse 19. He says, I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. Talked about that yesterday, remember? We all are infected by the weakness of the flesh. We are struggling with the flesh because it is that sin nature that keeps trying to rear its ugly head. And the only way we can overcome that is to use the weapons of our warfare, which are not earthly, not fleshly, but are spiritual. What are they? Prayer, Bible study, worship, uh, evangelism. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if you really want to get on fire with, for, for, for the Lord, start sharing your faith with lost people. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. But all of those things are part of who we are that help us to become stronger so that we can overcome the weakness of the flesh. But listen to what he says. Then we have to make this, this determination. Just as you presented your members of, uh, as slaves of uncleanness and of lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness. Now, let me pause there for a second. We, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but I want to drive this home again because we, we were talking about it a couple of days ago too. Here's the thing. The more we sin, the more we want to sin and continue to sin. It's kind of like me. If I can ever wean myself off of sugar, candy, chocolate, um, I, I can go weeks without eating any. But the first time I take one bite, you know what happens? I begin to crave it and I'll eat more and more. And, and that's not good for me. Same is true with sin. When we stumble into sin, we find ourselves continuing to do more and more things until we do what Paul says here. We take our stand, weapons of our warfare, don't let the weakness of the flesh overcome us, and we present our members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. Now listen, we don't talk about holiness enough. Uh, when we do, we, we talk about it as, well, that just means we're set apart. It means we're, we're other than, we're different from. And, and that is true. But understand the key root to this word holiness has to do with moral uh, responsibility. It has to do with doing the right things, saying the right things, being the kind of person that God has called you to be. And, and God has told us, Old Testament, New Testament, be holy as I am holy. And so we have to strive to be uh, the, the righteous people that God has called us to be. There is work on our part. Now, we don't work to earn our salvation uh, we don't work to make ourselves holy because we've been made holy in Christ Jesus, but because of that holiness, because of the salvation that is ours, we work in holiness to be more and more like Christ. Now, that's a powerful thought, but it is a daily struggle for all of us. We have to make that commitment. Every morning when you get up, you, you've got to say, I'm dead to sin. I'm alive to God through Christ Jesus, my Lord. I'm going to live for him. I'm going to be holy for him. And throughout the day, remind yourself of that. Put a note on your, your, your computer screen, on your uh, windshield, somewhere to, to remind you, be holy as God is holy. And think about it throughout the day. And pray that God would convict you every time you begin to stray. Not after you've strayed, but when you begin to toy with the ideas of sin, when the temptations come into your mind, because if you don't take that thought captive in obedience to Christ, you will find yourself thinking about it, planning for it, and ultimately stepping into it. And what a horrible thought that is. When we have the strength to withstand, the ability to flee, 
the power to overcome, and we fail to use it. Listen, God loves you. He wants you to be more and more like Jesus every day of your life. Wouldn't that be a great thing to, uh, to focus on, to do, to accomplish? Think about that today. See you back here tomorrow. Be blessed.